Today we're taking a look at Skyrim's Riverwood, remastered in Unreal Engine 5, with actual gameplay as well, like walking around the environment ourselves. We'll be comparing it side by side to the original, partly modded Skyrim, and discussing if the Elder Scrolls 6 will actually look this good. Is that something that's possible or achievable from Bethesda? But just to warn you guys, our sponsor G Fuel is having a huge end of year sale, which means using my code ESO, you can actually get 40% off. Usually it's 30%, but right now it's 40% because they've got like another special deal that stacks. G Fuel is a sugar-free energy drink. If you didn't know, I've drink it all the time on the channel, so I'm sure you do by now. But using the link below, you can get yourself 40% off from G Fuel before the end of the year to prepare yourself. The next year's adventures. Now this remaster of Skyrim we're about to walk through was created by Christian Gong, who's an environmental artist and a very talented one at that. I've actually shown off some of his work in a previous video where he recreated the Western Watchtower outside of Whiterun in Unreal Engine 5. But here in the Riverwood project he takes things a step further, creating his own photogrammetry assets. Now, according to Christian, many of these assets were actually created using a mobile phone. He then processed all these textures and created what is a very realistic looking tree and lots of photogrammetry assets that could then be used to build these 3D environments. Now this photogrammetry process is the exact same process we see Bethesda use in the old Elder Scroll anniversary trailer where we see them working with scanned landscapes which will then be used to make scanned textures as realistic as we see in this video. Now I'm not saying the Elder Scroll 6 will look as good as Unreal Engine 5 but I think we can expect a big leap in terms of graphical quality. So starting out here we have a view you're all familiar with I assume walking straight into Riften towards the pub and I mean you know the lighting is just an incredible contrast to what we've seen in Skyrim. What I notice first is just the tiny little flecks of dirt and texture and undulations of the pathways and I mean you know the wood textures and the ropes have these kind of 3D sort of elements to them that just make it look so much more realistic with like the mud on the wood and things like this. And these are all little aspects that you can really change and um, add details to in Unreal Engine 5 compared to the creation engine that Bethesda uses for Skyrim. Now, obviously we know for Starfield, Bethesda will be updating their creation engine and we've already seen, uh, confirmed, that they will be using photogrammetry technology. Like we see here, many of the textures were handcrafted using photogrammetry technology, which is why it looks, you know, so, so incredibly realistic and why the lighting sort of reflects off these textures in such a natural way. I like he's actually made the surrounding mountains and bridges, which just gives Riverwood this real grounding. It looks, I mean, it's like we're in Riverwood. It's incredible. Kind of like if I told you guys this is like, you know, fully modded Skyrim, I think a lot of people who don't appreciate the limitations of Skyrim will believe me. And obviously it is void of NPCs, but the fact we're walking and jumping around the game like this is a testament to how smoothly Unreal Engine runs. Currently, he's running around this area while also changing the time of day using Unreal Engine. So you guys can actually see the sun is moving through the sky. You can see the god rays coming through these trees. And now we'll start to see the sun slowly set over the mountain of Hythrothgar. And just the, it actually looks like evening, on a, a summer's evening, you know, uh, it's so realistic with all the movable elements as well. He's done a fantastic job of putting this together. I'm so impressed. And the lighting there from the forge as well is beautiful. Next, we're going to be taking a look at the scene side by side. As you can see, Skyrim is on the right and we have the Unreal Engine 5 version on the left. And immediately you can see the difference in lighting. The, the lighting on the Unreal Engine 5 version looks completely natural and the tones and color is just so much more realistic even with the ENB on the right hand side which improves the lighting somewhat it's just nothing compared to Unreal Engine 5. 
you can also see the difference in the detail when it comes to the actual foliage itself and the contrasting shadows of dark to light. Now there is an EMB we're working on currently for Skyrim that is going to massively improve the lighting, but it's still not going to be anything like we see on the left there with the Unreal Engine 5 version. Now this is a very lightly modded version of Skyrim, it is possible to make it look even better and if you're interested in doing that yourself you can check out our mod list, link down below in the description. We have a micro mod list for less powerful PCs and a ridiculously over modded version of Skyrim as well as a tutorial on how to install it. That link is down below if you're interested. Almost all the assets created by Christian on the left here have nanites enabled and a range in poly count from 100,000 to 15 million triangles each. So these are insanely detailed assets when compared to Skyrim, which is a 10 year old game in comparison. And here you can see the millions of triangles that make up the three dimensional shape that forms the mesh for the dynamic lighting that makes Skyrim in Unreal Engine looks so realistic. Now we should really start to get a realistic idea of what Bethesda's game engine is capable of at E3 this year when they unveil Starfield and show us what the updated version of the creation engine actually looks like. Though do not forget that Bethesda have already said in past interviews that the technology required for what they want to do in the Elder Scrolls 6 doesn't actually exist yet. So expect a giant leap between Skyrim and Starfield and again for the Elder Scrolls 6. And obviously if you want to see more Skyrim projects like this one, make sure you subscribe and check out the other Unreal project that Christian made linked down below in the description. Subscribe for more and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day and goodbye.